Hello there! My name is Albert Fisk. I'm an artist from Stockholm, Sweden. And in this video we're gonna take a look at another one of my finished sketchbooks. This one I finished in February this year. And I think I started in, in September 2022, so it's been a little less than two years in the making. Which is pretty fast for me, but got a lot of cool stuff from, from sketches in this uh, in this one. And um, yeah, this the, the sketchbook itself is my favorite, favorite brand, Hanni Muller. I don't think they make this anymore. I say that every time I show one of these, but I've stocked up on a few, so I still have them, but I don't think you can get these, sadly. All right, let's 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 uh, let's start. The format is A5, or A6, I think, A6 it should be, yeah. And I have a sticker from Axel Trevenius on front, as per usual. Okay, so the first pages I usually use for notes. And in here, there's a little extra compartment, sort of, because these paper are glued a bit different. Uh, here I just put sticky notes if I ever sketch on those, or if I need some reminders or whatever. So, it's a little extra area for that, which I like. And in this book, I started uh, doing my logo as the first spread, because I think the first page is sometimes a little bit intimidating for some reason. So I, I, I got the idea, if we just do my logo, try different things with the logo, um, I, I sort of have that out of the way. And yeah, September 2022 is when I started this one. And right off the bat I did something gory, <laughs> of course, uh, again, two gory things in a row. And this was around the time... Hmm, I think it was around the time where the new Little Mermaid movie was about to release or the trailer was out or something like that. So I did my take on Ursula, like the, the bad guy in the movie. And in this case she's trying to fit in among the humans, so she wears the, the skin from drowned seamen. Uh, out in the ocean but yeah as you can see the skin is rotting and bad things are happening you can still see her tentacles sticking out so she's not doing a great job on that I had a little story about uh, all she wanted was a kiss from a human and that would um, make her human as well but every time she got close to uh, a kiss she, she just ate the guy or the person, because the taste of human flesh was too good to uh, to not uh, consume. So that was a fun <laughs> mixed media painting. It's uh, acrylics, colored pencils, markers. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I like it. It's nice. When I was done with that, I did some silhouettes because you can't see the bottom of her. And I was thinking about how would she move and stand and what does the bottom look like. And I think she has like just two tentacles sticking out and she's walking a little bit wobbly. And here she's puking up remains of, of people. Uh, also, I made prints out of these. I can put a print up on the screen. And they're available on my website, which is albertfisk.com. Here is a very random page. Just here, I'm just trying things out with different materials. And this is a sketch page for one of my paintings that I called uh, The Guardian. And I'll put a picture of, of the finished painting on the screen, but it's been sold, so I don't have that anymore, which is good and sad, or good and bad, because it was one of my favorites, but I'm glad it got to a, a nice home. And I think I then, yeah, on this page, or these pages, I started exploring more about 
uh, these guardians that are connected to my collectors and uh, my whole uh, alien race that I'm uh, that I have in my creative world. Uh, some cool ideas here. I really like the slime hand. I think I in incorporate that in, in a, another painting I did this year, which, which is nice. And here are more guardians on this side. And here, I think I talked about this in the previous sketchbook uh, tour, but this is the first painting test I did for uh, my character Orbo, which is part of uh, uh, the alien race that I'm talking about. They're called the Orbed Ones, but they're also called Aliens in Cozy Sweaters, which it's a little bit more fun name, but I wanted also a, like a collective name for, for the whole race because these guys are the only ones that have sweaters. And then you have like familiars and, and other characters in that uh, in that race that don't have sweaters. So yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. I really like this character. It's a self-portrait as well. You can read more about that on my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Albert Fisk. I, I share lore there about the race. About the alien race. Random stuff. Not sure what this was about. Don't like it very much. And here I just did a random blob that looks like a bird. Markers and colored pencils. More blobs. Like fish type creatures and something with eyes. Not sure what that's all about. Here, this is, uh, I don't know if you've seen the movie Naked Lunch by David Cronenberg, but there's a character in there that looks similar to this. So I just had to do his silhouette because it's a really cool silhouette. Here's another test. I think it's uh, acrylic and then Copic markers and then colored pencils on top of that. But yeah, as you can see here, it says no. That means it didn't work very well and should try something else. This one was done around October um, for Halloween and it's my pump squid, I think I call it. I really like this one. Uh, I also made prints out of it, but they sold out. Mm. But yeah, it's a nice concept and maybe something I could do as a bigger painting at some point. But there's so many ideas for bigger paintings. Sometimes it's just nice to get it out in the, in the sketchbook like this. Here are sketches for another idea for the Halloween painting. This was like a... a Apple core as a spider, and here's a beetle broccoli and an apple core bug of some sort. Didn't do anything with this, but I did do something else in this theme, so we'll check it out later. It's later in the sketchbook, I think. This is for sketches for a painting I did, they call it Collector 3. Which I, I wasn't super happy with the end result. It wasn't like the the thing I had in my mind. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. But I could probably make it a little bit better now. I think if I wanted to repaint it. This is from a workcation I had while working on the game Ultros. So the team went to a cabin. It says orgy house here, but we didn't have an orgy, but the, the, the cabin sort of gave us that vibe. It's, uh, it had big rooms and big soft areas to lay around in them. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how that came up, but uh, it just felt like uh, one of those orgy houses for some reason. So these are all drawings from my co-workers and one from me. Fun memory to have. Here's a little character that I called Todd, or it's a Todd Pole is his name. Uh, he collects 
eggs. That's his whole whole uh, job, or that's his whole purpose. He collects eggs and keeps them safe, and sometimes he eats them as well. I think it was a cool, cool character. This is just random doodles that I do during my lunch break at work sometimes. No thought, just doing random shapes and sometimes you can get cool things out of that. And this one was made out with markers and colored pencils. It didn't turn out the way I wanted either, but still cool. It could be turned into something. Random sketches on this page. And when I have a page like this, and I like certain areas, I try to color them in so they stand out a little bit. I like this one the most. Here's another random page of sketches. I like this dude. Little alien guy. This was supposed to be a collector, but never took it further than that because the, the concept sort of... Well, I lost interest in the concept, I guess. Here yeah, I was just figuring out how the feet work on the, on the alien character. The armor, sketches... Swatches. Here is some sketches for coasters I did. Like a coaster, uh, it was a coaster show. And uh, yeah, I, I can, I'll show the finished product on the screen. They were really fun to make. And here is my attempt on doing a painting for Christmas. I like the, the... what do you call those? Uh, I don't know what you call them in English. Well, you know, the candies? The Christmas candies? I like that as tentacles. It's, I might use that for something else. Monster ornament. These are some of the helmet designs I sometimes do. Just do a, a random shape with a black marker and then you add the highlights with a color pencil. Another one of those uh, lunch scribble pages. I really like this dude here. Definitely want to paint him. as a Maybe as a side character to something. I like this dude with a long, long neck. But it's a lot of inspiration in these shapes, for me at least. And here is a character that's called Fkei Monfta. He has, he has no under, like, bottom jaw or lips, so he can't talk well. <laughs> and some silhouettes of how he would walk around and check out flowers and, and stuff like that. It's fun, I think. Just another ideas around that theme. And I think this was during... Uh... Oh wait, when, when did I do this one? I thought this maybe was for like an after work and draw kind of thing, but I don't think it was. Anyway, it's uh, a knight made out of jelly. And here are more testing for the, the coaster paintings I did. And here are my first sketches. I think these are the, like the proper first sketches for the aliens in cozy sweaters. And I showed this in the last uh, video as well. And here they have some hats and other things. Then I did a 
acrylic sketch painting here. Just messing around with shapes. And I really like how this turned out, but the, the contrast of the brown, gray-brown body and then the redness in there. Really happy with how that looks. I don't know if you can see it in camera. I don't, I don't know if you can see it in camera, <laughs> but there's some very subtle orange subsurface scattering light going on there, which is really nice. More aliens in cozy sweaters, and here is like the anatomy, sort of the anatomy of the, of the aliens. Here is a sketch for a painting I want to do with me and my girlfriend as those aliens and our cat. So maybe do a portrait of us like that. Would be fun. Random sketches of deformed old ladies. And here are more sketches for the, um, the coaster painting show. This one looks similar to to one of the finished version, versions. Even more sketches. And I think I made like one of this one and this one is... Yeah, you saw them previously, so... But it's good to do like this. Just do a lot of testing before you paint. Some sketches of the lamb from the game Cult of the Lamb. Here are more aliens in cozy sweaters, but these are called the Elders. They don't have sweaters, but here they do. Or maybe they... I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided that fully, but... <laughs> uh, I did seven paintings of them. Uh, here are some mock-ups for the, the forms. And... Yeah, I can show that those on screen as well, so you can see how they turn out. And none of them have any sweaters on, on the paintings, but maybe they do wear them sometimes, I don't know. Here are more random sketches. Try to think about a way to do the, the aliens sort of switchable, so you can switch out the heads and the sweaters, so you can build your own aliens. And here are some plants that I was thinking about. Um, yeah, <laughs> random plants. More. Oh, well, this is a sketch for a uh, little mermaid piece that is coming up later, which is a bit gory as well. The random stuff. This was for the alien day. Not sure when that is actually. <laughs> it was. I think it's in May or April. That's the official Alien Day. But yeah. Try to do a xenomorph, but with jelly. Uh, it's okay. It's a bit rushed. Oh, here is Ariola, like a, what I call her. That's my name for her. Ariola. This is the little. Um, Oh, these are two friends. Like, this is Flunder and Sebastian. But I call him Secretion, and I don't, I don't remember the name for, for this guy. I think she turned out really great. <laughs> so, yeah, my fan art is not fan art per se. Here I did some testing for the, the Elder paintings, just to see how I wanted to render things and what kind of black I wanted to use. It's a warm black and a cool black. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but but it's very subtle changes and some swatches and whatnot. More random blob shapes. Uh, lunch break sketch. Randomness, stoodling. doodling. 
this is some ideas I had for uh, I, was apply I was applying for a job at Elk Studios as a game artist and they had an art test so I was trying to sketch out some ideas for that first in the sketchbook and then I did it digitally but it was nice to do it here first and I got the job so yay I've been working there ever since these guys I really like my I call them corpse flies I'm not sure what they are but this was the first one I think and then I drew the other other ones yeah I, re I really like this design and I definitely want to do something with that also this guy is a bit nice it's weird This is the Fgei Monster again. <laughs> but I'm trying to plan out a painting and different perspectives. And I kind of like this one where you can see him from the bottom a little bit. So he feels really tall, but yeah, I'm not sure. And I changed out the teeth a little bit. And I like to imagine colors, so I write them down here next to the sketch this was inspired by uh, Greg Simpkins he did some paintings with shapes like this and I just wanted to draw something similar it looks really cool I think it's fun and here is here it starts sketches for my Orbo stickers and I did a collaboration with sticker app uh, he said you can make two stickers and we'll print them for free and then we'll share the like the, the reel and, and, and all that and you can sell them if you want. So that was a lot a lot of fun and a really fun project. So I got started with the sketches here. Oh here are random uh, ocean structures, boats. But then here more orbos. So you can see I was just trying out different poses and a lot of ideas. Came up with this one for one of the uh, designs, which I picked, real like that. And here was my other idea, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't think it would work well as a sticker. So I scrapped that and did something different. But I'll put both of them on the screen so you can see. And they're also available at my web shop. AlbertFisk.com Oh, and here are more Orbo stickers. Oh yeah, here you can see sort of the... where the idea started with the, the split, split guy. This was... Oh, here we go. This is uh, Elk Sketch After Work. Okay, so this was an after work we had. I think I arranged it. We just met up in the kitchen area. I had some beers, had some burgers, and drew for a few hours. Just hanging out. That was nice. And this is just random things on this side. Here is another Halloween painting. So this is the la the year after, 2023. So uh, I wanted to do another one for for that year, and I think an, I thought an apple would be good. Call it a squapple. And that painting was very tricky for some reason. It didn't turn out the way I wanted, but a lot of people seem to like it. I'll put it on the screen. But um, it wasn't what I had in my mind, but it's, I still like it, but it was, yeah, different from my imagination. But I'm, I'm planning to do another one of these for this year, and I think I know exactly what to do. It's going to be a vegetable this time. Here are sketches for some of the tools that 
the orbed ones can uh, use, and they transform their hands. So I tried to do a sort of a little animation step by step here. So the, the tool comes out from their hand, and it's their like their maker tool for the great things with. Then here there's something that I call the core bloom, which is a plant. Not exactly sure what it did, I don't remember. It's probably the text here. I have it in my lore documents <laughs> somewhere on my computer. Oh, here it says, when a core bloom is ripe and a maker's core energy is full, the bloom can be picked up, uh, picked up, okay, enclosing the fragments to be used later. Oh, so they, like, it's like an energy kind of thing. So you can close it up with, with the leaves and then bring it with you. It's like a power bank, I guess. Here I was just messing around with fonts. I'm not a font guy, I, I'm not good at text, but tried a little bit. Is that a random fancy blob person? I really want to do something with this kind of neck piece at some point. I don't remember the name of them, but they look really cool. And here are sketches for uh, a canvas board, or it's not a canvas board, it's just a board that I made that has the shape of a coffin. And I already started doing uh, a skull painting on that, but I don't like the painting, so I want to paint over it. And I think I'm going to go with something like this. But yeah, that's a project for another time. Here we have this little guy, which is a painting I did when I felt very lost and um, felt like I was going nowhere. I was stressed from the new job I started and I didn't have any energy to paint or do art at home. So I did some sketches here first and then I decided to paint this, so that, that felt really good. This is actually from a previous sketchbook. Or a, maybe one or two sketchbooks back. I did a simple uh, doodle of this guy. I like him, it's, it's nice. Here is that corpse fly again. A little bit bigger, a little bit more fleshed down. I need to paint him. <clears throat> Another scribble, lunch scribble page. And then this one, which is really cool, I think. It's a pink lava ball. And there's this, this guy called uh, Mural Joe on YouTube, and he had a little tutorial on how to paint lava like this. So I looked at it, and then I tried it myself, and it worked really well. Definitely gonna use this texture and technique again. Scribble page, or lunch scribble. Some weird monsters and stuff. And here I have some very early sketches of a project I did together with a friend. Uh, it's a robot for a game. He, he's, he's a programmer, but he, he tried to learn... He's trying to learn how to program games. So he did a word of clone, and he wanted a little zassy robot guy next to the game, like giving you, uh, giving you like comments on how bad you are if you can't guess the word right. So started with that here, and then I made a 3D model in Blender, and then I did a paint over in Photoshop. I'll put him on the screen here so you can check him out. I think he turned out really cool. I used a lot of techniques I learned from work in that project, so it was nice to see that I've progressed in digital stuff. Here are the first sketches of my series of paintings that I call Unidentified Biolog Biological Entities. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Or UBE, for short. 
And these two guys are the first paintings. I think that's number one and number two. Then I did a little test painting of them. This is also the new workflow that I'm, I'm leaning into. Uh, doing loose sketches, maybe a fast color pencil uh, study of the colors. Then I'll do a quick, a semi-quick paint study. And then I do the real painting. And it works really well. You can work out a lot of problems early on and test things in small scale before you do it like in bigger scale. So yeah, I'll show those two on the screen as well. And so far I made six out of those uh, paintings in the series and I'm working on the last one now, which is the biggest one. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Here are ideas for this bird guy. Jelly bird. Not sure what it is, but he looks similar to the, the orbed aliens. Just trying to figure out fun things to paint. Cats. And here I took that other sketch I showed before about of the of Gary Monster <laughs> and tried to make something else with that idea but ended up doing this little guy which I call a soot demon and then I did a paint test of him which I really like and then I did an actual painting that I'll show on the screen and I really like how that turned out and it was really fast as well painted that in a, a day I think it's fast for me and it's so almost instantly, which is really fun. And here's another one of those lunch break little pages. Really like this guy. It's like a little creature of some sort, and I definitely want to paint him. And all of these could be used as like side characters in a bigger painting. Even this little guy. Here are more random... Yeah, this is still the Soot Demon. I was trying out different poses and ideas. And here I started doing sketches for the UBE 3 and 4 paintings. And a bunch of notes and trying to figure out how to solve uh, certain problems that I had. These kind of sketches don't need to look good. You just you need just need to see it on paper, and then you can quickly see like, okay, no, this doesn't work, or I don't like the shape here, or no, I don't want to have fluids in there. So yeah, it's good. Oh right, this was for my first exhibition as at the Wow X Wow Gallery. I got accepted in there, which is a huge accomplishment for like a personal. On a personal level, really happy about that. That was great. More soot demon and other demon idea uh, idea sketches, and then this little guy showed up, and we'll see more about him soon. More scribbles. Oh, I thought I had more of this guy. That might be in my other sketchbook. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what this guy turned into. Um, actually, let me show that uh, in, in, in the camera. Hold on. Okay, so this is my latest painting sketchbook. I have a new... Uh, workflow that I was talking about. I use a small sketchbook like this for the rough sketches and when I come to the stage where I want to do a paint sketch I grab this one and I will show you how this guy turned out. There he is. 
And I really like the paint in this book because the paper is sort of, it's a little bit textured, so it's almost like um, canvas. And I like to have a book with just paintings. But I really like this character. It's gonna be a bigger painting, for sure. I can show you quickly something else in here. And my logo again as the first page. Yeah. Looking forward to show this sketchbook in full when it's in this field, but it's gonna take a while. But yeah, it's nice. Okay, and that is the end. February 2024, this year, is when I finished this one. And here are more just random warble and guardians and a bird. And post-it notes and then nothing. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, sketchbook flip through. And oh, right. I want to mention that I recently started my Patreon page. I mentioned that earlier in the video as well, but it's patreon.com slash albertfisk. And if you want to see more in-depth posts about my work and work in progress shots and me nerding out about sketchbook stuff or materials, or if you want to see videos like this before everybody else on YouTube, go check it out and uh, I would really appreciate it if you want to support my work. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.